Uh, this is something that you have been talking about for a very long time. Since the beginning of the Me Too movement at the end of 2018, you've brought it up periodically and this time you've put an allegation on the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu himself, basically labeling him a hypocrite because he stands with the wrestlers but he hasn't said a word about the charges that you and 17 other women have leveled against famous lyricist Vairamuthu in the Tamil film industry. Now you say the rules cannot be changed for Vairamuthu, the national award winning poet lyricist which you and all of those women have accused of sexual harassment that the rules cannot be different for him and Bridge Bhushan. Are you saying that MK Stalin is being hypocritical when he's extending support to the wrestlers while being silent on Vairamuthu? Um, uh, hundred percent there are at least, actually more than 18 women who have uh, named yeah. Mr. Vairamuthu with uh, uh, people corroborating in uh, public domain including Rehman's sister had uh, informed in an interview uh, in 2018 that yes this man is like this there were, there's nothing that we can do there are other uh, people from the industry who are now uh, abroad who have given uh, video bites and videos from their own uh, social media channels saying that they have seen Mr. Vairamuthu misbehave with girls in front of their eyes. So this man has been an open secret as long as Tamil Nadu is concerned He and he unequivocally gets a lot of support from Tamilians across the globe, not just um, in Tamil Nadu. Mm. He is extremely politically connected. He is not just connected to the DMK but uh, at the same time uh, uh, I also asked Mr. Kamala Hassan who heads uh, MNM saying that why is it that when there is uh, he is also from the Tamil industry and of course he's from the he's a pride of this country as an actor however when something comes up from his own industry he has also platformed uh, Mr. Vairamuthu at an event uh, that he had organized and it was an industry heavyweight event um, everybody here in Tamil Nadu becomes conveniently and comfortably silent when I pick up uh, the issue of Mr. Vairamuthu and because I named him, I have been banned for the past mm. five years to work from the Tamil film industry. Thankfully, I have been able to sing in other languages and work in other languages but as long as the Tamil film industry is also concerned, they have uh, remained silent and watched the ban happen right in front of their eyes. So yes, the rules are very different when they speak for a sexual harasser who is not from, you know, their own circle um, and when it is outside, they are all ready to speak up. Now, this is black and white hypocrisy, black and white uh, selective outrage that you've highlighted, Chinmay, because I've been following those allegations uh, that, you, that, that you made public from the very start, from the, ta from the very day that you made those allegations, I've been following that story. Uh, and we all know that as far as the Me Too movement is concerned, solidarity, you know, people being powerful, people being allies in those allegations is very much part of how these allegations can be amplified and brought to a logical legal conclusion. How does it feel to see, uh, and I don't, uh, you know, intend to ask this in a, you know, a flippant way, but how does it feel to see someone like an M.K. Stalin, the chief minister no less, supporting wrestlers at Jantar Mantar who've leveled charges very similar to the ones you've charged, uh, you know, you've made. A person in a powerful position misusing that position to sexually harass those below him. I completely, as a survivor, I am 100% in uh, uh, of the belief that the wrestlers deserve every ounce, every little bit of support that they can get uh, from uh, the Honorable uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, Mr. Stalin or Mr. Kamala Hassan or from every politician from this country. The pressure needs to come up because the man that has been named is very, very powerful. He holds and wields so much power, so much clout and so much influence and the wrestlers deserve and they need all sort of support that they can get and I, uh, uh, Mr. Stalin's support uh, to this is really praiseworthy and I, I believe that he needs to support but at the same time what I did add to that yeah. uh, as well is that which I have also requested uh, Kanimuri ji to take uh, you know and all the other women uh, politicians in DMK, in DMK. who have um, not said anything each time that the you know the, the they have platformed Mr. Vairamuthu that also look at this so many women have named uh, uh, this uh, Sahitya Academy awardee, Padma Bhushan awardee, all of that national multiple national uh, award winners so the amount of cloud that Mr. Vairamuthu wields not just here but in the entire Tamil community across the world is momentous. So the, it's, it's, it's definitely not easy, not just for me. I'm not the only one who has spoken up uh, in public against Mr. Vairamuthu. Mm. Uh, several other women have also spoken up in the public domain. 
So that's, uh, it's kind of sad that they want to just continue to brush it under the carpet, hoping that, you know, I will stop speaking someday and then they can all forget about it. And it, it, it's incredible, uh, the contrast, uh, uh, Chinmay. Uh, and I think our viewers need to be reminded of that. You know, you've been, uh, you've been basically rendered an outcast in the Tamil film industry. You don't get any work there. We, you know, we know how the power levers work in film industries, not just the Tamil film industry, but in any film industry in this country. When someone powerful has been affected, we've seen how the system kind of aligns itself to boycott the aggrieved party or the person who's making those allegations against a powerful person. That is precisely what has happened to you. And on the flip side of it, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, the accused, which is Vairamuthu, continues to be platformed by all of the powerful people in the constellation that is Tamil Nadu. The contrast couldn't be more stark. What I'm referring to is uh, there are, um, I think in the past five years, ever since he's been named, there have been numerous photo opportunities with uh, the, the Honorable uh, CM C. Stalin mm. uh, that Mr. Vairamuthu has had. He is invited to political events. He is uh, he's a, a guest of honor in a lot of these political events with that other Tamil politicians also, um, um, you know, attend. Uh, even national uh, level politicians uh, have also attended these events uh, and have staged, uh, I mean, uh, shared the stage with uh, Mr. Vairamuthu in the events in the past one, one and a half years. Um, and uh, I will probably give them a little bit of benefit of doubt because they may not have known that Mr. Vairamuthu has been named by so many people here in Tamil Nadu. Um, but, uh, but even people from the Congress have, uh, you know, shared a stage with him a while ago uh, here in Tamil Nadu for a very important event. But there's mm. nothing that anybody is able to do because all that we constantly see is this man wielding his political clout, uh, growing his political connections so that he can be shielded. So I think it's, it's uh, and not just that, I think other uh, politicians uh, from Tamil Nadu, all of them who have so much influence and so much power, every time that he comes to attach himself with them for a cause, they willingly bring him up on stage and platform him and show him as a pride of their, um, you know, ideological group, whatever that ideology may be. So that is... That is kind of sad because this is exactly what, this is the general playbook of um, uh, sex offenders or any offender for that matter to get close to people in power so that they can get away easy. Especially in the case of sexual offense, it seems to be a lot more rampant.